Hey there, Segudo Golfers. Today I've got something for you that's going to change how you think about the golf swing and it will quickly improve the quality of your ball striking. What I'm talking about is the concept of swinging the handle and not the club head. Most amateur golfers, meaning most of you in the audience, you swing the club head with maybe you're not thinking about it, but you're swinging the club head and not the handle. And all the pros swing the handle. Let's think about the golf swing for a second in terms of a hammer. So get yourself a hammer. Here is a lovely sledgehammer. When I take a sledgehammer into a nail, the only part of the hammer that makes contact with the nail, or the only part that should, is the head of the hammer. If my hands make contact with the nail, ooh, that's going to hurt. It's going to leave a mark. I don't want that. Very painful, and it probably won't even send the nail into the wall. So in the golf swing, we have a similar thing going on here. We've got the club head, we've got the handle. We grip the handle, we hit with the club head. But you need to think about the way you use a hammer. When I use a hammer, I'm not thinking about hitting the nail with my hands. I always think about hitting the nail with the hammer. And most of the time, you're not even thinking when you're doing this. You take a hammer into a nail, boop, there it is. You just hit it. But for some reason, we get this golf club in our hands and then our brains go haywire and we start thinking too much about what to do with this thing. We've been doing this for far longer than we've been doing this. And yet, we seem to struggle with this more than we struggle with this. This is, that we don't even struggle with this. You could probably just go hit a hit hammer into a nail, no problem. So when you grip your golf club, keep the same focus. This is the handle, this is the hammer head. Why does this matter? Well, what happens when you swing with the club head? You get all the ugly things you're doing right now. Golfers that swing with the club head try to hit the ball, meaning when I say swing with the club head, I mean your feel is here, not here. You need to feel the handle, not the head. When you try and use the head, it's kind of like putting your hands out here and swinging down to hit the ball like this. But with a hammer, you do the opposite. You've got the handle, and you're bringing the handle to the ball, like this. There's a big difference in those two paths. Did you see that? If you didn't see that, let's, let's rewind it. If I put my hands at the head, and I try and hit the ball with, from the top of my backswing, that's the motion I will make. But if I put my hands on the handle, the club head follows the handle, and you start to see the path that the pros make in the downswing. If you want a solid golf swing, the club head needs to approach through the middle lower part of your back here at this point. If you're over here in the zone of death, you can kiss it goodbye. It's slicing off the planet. The club's going straight down to the ground. You're chopping wood. Putting my focus in the club head leads to me trying to hit from the top hit from the top of my golf swing. If you're hitting from the top, you're trying to hit the golf ball from here. Ooh, steep, boom, chop. So you put your focus on the handle like you would with a hammer. The club head follows the hands. Look at that. The club head is following the hands. The hammer head is following, lagging behind the hands. If I had a nail in the ground here, and I had to drive it in the ground towards the target, I would swing the hammer like this. I would never once say, oh gee, I might as well hit from the top. It wouldn't make any sense to do that, because I've got to drive the nail this way into the target. So I have to have the hands leading the hammerhead in order for the hammerhead to hit the nail. So the hands, the handle, is what I am swinging, the head is following. If you've been thinking about the golf swing as putting your hands where the club is and swing over the top, this will get you swinging into out, shallower path, and you'll be ripping the ball so much better. If we look at the difference in impact positions too, you'll see that if you hit from the top, the club goes steeper and over, and then your reaction is to shorten up your arms, flip, and fall back. Because as the club goes down, you have to shorten up your arms to hit the golf ball, 
or else the club will go straight into the ground. So over means I got to pull in with the arms. And then when I pull in with the arms, I can't keep my weight forward. I've got to pull the weight back in order to make contact with the ball. It's a, it's a dang miracle you make contact when you do that. But if the hands, if I swing the handle, the handle leads, I have the club head following, 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 following into here. And that impact, I have a totally different impact position. Because the hands are leading, the club is following. That's my natural impact position. This is your natural impact position with a hammer and a nail as well. The hands are leading, the club head follows. The hands are leading, the club head follows. I want you to go to bed tonight saying that to yourself. The hands, the handle is in charge. The club head is submissive to the handle. The club head follows the handle. Then we start hitting golf shots with this mentality and it will change the way you hit the golf ball in a so, so much better way. If I start thinking handle, I am not going to try and hit this way. I want the handle leading. So we have to get the handle ahead of the club head. Here's how you feel this correctly. Go ahead and grip the golf club. Not like your normal golf grip, but grip it like you have a hammer. So how do I grip this hammer? I'm gripping it kind of like a baseball bat. Ten finger grip without the thumbs. You can put the thumbs down the middle like this, if that helps. But really just trying to give you the idea that it's a hammer and not a golf club for right now. So we've got this hammer right here with my thumbs down the shaft simulating a golf grip. And if I want this hammer to go into the nail, this is what I want you to feel. Taking your grip, go ahead and point the club back towards the camera. Or it would be opposite end of your target. Okay, so I've preset this. What I want you to do from here is take the hands and move them toward the target. When you do that, the club head is following. You're getting the sensation of the club head following in the club head, instead of the club head going over. The club head is behind, behind you. And this is just a short example, a really, really slow, like not a big swing example. If you were to take this feeling to the full swing, grip it like a sledgehammer, go to the top of your backswing, and from here, hands lead, but the hands must go down this way. Hands go down. The, the hands lead, club stays behind. The club never goes over. Never over, always behind. You should be seeing it over here. I can't stress this enough because I see this problem on the lesson T all the time. And you're probably dealing with this or you've seen many people who, do, who have this problem. Pay attention to the club head. Is it behind me or is it out in front of me? I never want it here. I always want it here. Then we're gonna hit a chip shot. Why we're hitting a chip shot? Because we need to start small. If you've never felt, if you've never felt the club head lagging behind, this is a good place to start. So, taking the club back to about takeaway position, you now have the hands ahead of the club head. From here, have the hands lead through impact. So it's a, it's a short chip shot, just preset this hands going to the target, club head behind me. Hands going to the target, club head behind me. Let's do it again. Put the club here, the club head is behind, hands going target work. The hands are simply just going this way, as if they're on a line. The club head will follow, you have to trust it. Okay? club head behind. Now we're going to do a really cool drill to help you get this even more. So this drill is one of my favorites for feeling the club head lagging instead of going over and understanding how the handle should work. We're leading with the handle, the club head stays behind you for powerful consistent golf shots. So imagine that your arms are spaghetti noodles 
and they're really nicely cooked. They're so noodly and loosey goosey. Yeah. And you got these spaghetti noodles. So when I have spaghetti noodles on the golf club, it's almost like I can feel the weight of the club. There's no tension, whatever, in my arms whatsoever. No tension, as if the club head moves the arms. Well, if I kept this loosey goosiness and I was making these little short chip swings, what lags behind the hands when you do this? The club head. Because the arms are so light in tension that the club head, the weight of the club head has to stay behind them in the downswing. So I was really loosey goosey here. I have no choice but to have the club head lagging and the hands staying ahead. So we take this into a half shot, a little bit further. You can really see I'm, I'm loosey goosey here. So you can feel the club head behind you. Maybe a half shot, three quarters. That's where you want to go with this, is three quarters. You want to feel the club head behind you. So I'm really lagging the club back. It's almost like you want to drag the club off of the ball to where the hands lead going back. This is an extreme situation. The hands lead going back, the club head follows. The hands lead going down, the club head follows. That's how you really feel the club head staying behind for solid contact. If you're somebody who is over the top, you will have never felt this before. If you've been steep your whole life, you've been feeling over, over, over. You've been feeling club head first, club head first, instead of handle first, handle first, club head behind. And then we hit some shots, really loosey goosey. I'm not caring about the result. This ball could, could go in a couple different directions. That's not the point. The point is that you feel the club head behind. I know when I do that the club head's staying over here. I can actually feel that happening because of the weight. Dragging the handle back first. Dragging the handle through. Handle back. Handle through. Handle back. Handle through. There's many different ways I can explain this to you but it's the most intuitive way that we learn how to hit a hammer into a nail, except we apply it to a golf club. And it makes perfect sense because the golf club is just a hammer. That's all it is. I mean, we call it a golf club, but it's just a hammer device for hitting a golf ball. Lag it back, handle leads, handle leads. The handle must always lead for compressed golf shots. How are you feeling right now about this? Does it make you feel kind of weird? If you're saying it makes you feel weird, good. Because that tells you you made a change from probably swinging the head over. Ooh, that would, you see that? That could have been bad. Ooh, about, about three inches from destruction. Okay, so another reason not to swing the club head, another reason to swing the handle. Loosey goosey. Handle, la handle leading, club head lagging. Handle leading, club head lagging. Leading, whoo, that was nice and crispy. This is a golf lesson I wish I learned when I was starting out because I wanted to always hit from the top. And then when I was looking at a hammer one day, I'm thinking, geez, we just should swing the handle like we swing a hammer. The club head's always behind me. So here we go, loosey-goosey. Handle leads, handle leads. Handle ahead of the golf club, handle ahead of the golf club. You see that change of direction? The handle is always ahead for this drill. And you want the handle ahead in the downswing anyway. That's the proper path. Let me take it up to about a three-quarter swing. We'll kick it up a notch. Handle, handle. Really loosey-goosey spaghetti arms. Club head lags behind the body. Now, when we have to take this up to the full swing, you just need to keep in mind, we're gonna take away the loosey-goosey arms. Unless you're a really bad slicer and you want to fix that for right now. 
But if we're getting into regular swing dynamics, regular, regular feels, not, not going all spaghetti-like, not doing all this, though it might help you to feel that, we just need to keep in mind where's the club head. So when I'm swinging, normal, club head's behind me, club head needs to stay behind me. If it doesn't, I won't hit it solid. So anything you do in golf when it comes to swinging this club, you must be handle oriented to hit it well. Handle is going to lead on the way down. That was nice and solid. The handle always leads, the club always follows for a really powerful golf swing. So Segudo golfers, if you're looking to play your best golf right now, check out my website, segudo.golf, for 10 bucks a month. You could be playing the best golf of your life. You know this, life is far too short to play bad golf. If you got there, remember to swing the handle, not the club head. Club head, handle, two very different forces at work. You want that handle in there. Click here to join my online golf school for 10 bucks a month. Click here to subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. Here are two selections from the Segudo Golf Archives designed to help you play some awesome golf. Thanks again for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you in a future episode.